I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 656. Can someone please explain Japan to me? From that country, we get sashimi, beautiful gardens, elegance, really cool technology, ramen noodles, smart toilets, all of which I love. They also give us freaking USB breast warmers. Guys, excuse me a sec while I have a little chat with the lady geeks. Girls, am I out of touch or missing something? Is this an issue that really needs to be addressed via USB? My fingers get cold, my toes do, my nose, but my boobs? We're talking about fatty tissue here. So tell me, we don't really need USB breast warmers, right? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. The engineers at Thanko, maker of all things crazy USB, are wanting to see some girls in bras, so they make the USB breast warmer so they can test it out. You know, for science. Tomorrow, the Motorola Droid will go on sale at Verizon. Actually, some stores will have it tonight. I'll have a hands-on on Brief 657, but the Motorola Droid isn't the only Android phone launching. The HTC Hero will also go on sale branded as the Droid Eris. The hardware is slightly different than the Hero, but it's essentially the same deal. It offers a 5 megapixel camera and a 3.2 inch capacitive display. Other specs are pretty standard, Wi-Fi and micro SD expandable memory up to 16 gigabytes. It's half the price of the Motorola Droid after a $100 mail-in rebate. That's $99. Sony Ericsson is working on a new phone called the Carrara. Some small photos were released on phonesdb.com without too many specs. The hardware looks amazing. The 3.5 inch touchscreen is AMOLED. It has an 8.1 megapixel camera that shoots 720p video. The OS is Symbian S60 and it sounds like it'll go on sale next year. Quick business note, I'm going to New York in a week and a half because one of my favorite technology companies is opening a store. We'll have a meetup on the 20th. Check CallieLewis.com me slash New York meetup for details. Finally today, Olympus officially announced it's launching the much anticipated EP2 Micro Four Thirds camera. It improves on the EP1, which will still be available. It has a retro black metal design with an accessory port to accommodate an included detachable VF2 electronic viewfinder or an optional external microphone adapter. Yes, please. <laughs> it introduces a continuous autofocus tracking system that tracks a subject across or back or forward through the frame. That's really cool. It has the art filters from the EP1 and adds two more, a diorama filter and a cross-process filter. One of the reasons we want one of these cameras is that it has full manual control of shutter and aperture when the camera's in movie mode. It's the smallest 12.3 megapixel interchangeable lens system with in-body image stabilization. The big drawback is the price. The EP1 is priced right around $800. The EP2 seems overpriced at $1,100. That's it for today. Tomorrow we'll have the Motorola Droid and perhaps the Aero. Brief 656 was brought to you by Angie'sList.com slash geek. As an Angie's List member, you get access to fellow member reviews of contractors and healthcare providers. Everything from wedding planners like my sister Christina to guys who will install a solar vent on your roof. Promo code geek will save you 25%. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. That's the way I thought it. Oh, Pogue said that um, if you buy the Droid in store at Best Buy, you get the rebate immediately.